What's going on guys? Welcome back to Carrasco Ranch. My name is Robert and uh, if you're new here, so today we are going to Natural Bridge Caverns Wildlife Ranch. It's located in Comal County. It's a 400 acre exotic ranch, um, African safari animals. There's over 40 species I believe on the ranch and uh, we're gonna go check it out. It's $25 per person to enter the ranch to drive through. Um, right now because of the whole COVID thing, um, you aren't allowed to feed the animals, but we're still gonna drive through. I'll try to pick up as many animals as I can and try to get them on camera for you guys. If y'all are interested in checking them out, I will leave all the information down below in the, in the, the description. And uh, yeah, guys, leave it down in the comments which animal was your favorite. And uh, yeah. And if you wanna see more content like this, guys, definitely consider subscribing and definitely give this video a like. Guys, we have arrived. Just showing you the screen before we enter. So you can get an idea of what the uh, restrictions are if you do plan on coming out here. Or recommendations, I should say. So as you see guys, the first thing you're gonna come in and see is giraffes on your left as you come in through. There is a little learning shop to the left as well. And then the entrance to the ranch is also to the left. And um, there's a parking lot straight ahead. Yeah, there's some there guys. And then I'll show you these over here. These are obviously a male. The one on the left is a male. And it looks like they're eating some alfalfa. I guess they throw out alfalfa out here. And I guess they put the alfalfa by the road so that way the uh, access. Look at that, guys. I'm gonna zoom in. That's a big old axis buck right there. Look at all of these. Here's another one. Others over there on the other side of the fence. And then there's this guy here, if I can get him on camera. I'm not sure what he is, but... Some more just chilling, laying out. Avoiding the south, the, well, actually not in south Texas anymore, but avoiding the Texas heat. Here's a couple more guys for you. Show you guys some of the view of the, some of this country out here. Just really nice country, nice hilly, some nice elevations out here. It's really nice, guys. Now it looks like we're going down into like a little draw. So, definitely different than South Texas, which those of y'all who subscribe and know my channel, most of my videos take place down in South Texas. It's definitely a little bit different landscape than, uh, than what we're normally used to. Probably the steepest down downgrade I've ever uh, driven on in a long time. I don't know if you guys can actually see the whole. I don't know if the camera does this justice or not, but this is very, very, very steep downgrade. Definitely better not have any issues with your brakes. a little creek that runs through the ranch for the most part it's pretty dry there's the uh, giraffes I'm not gonna lie guys I wonder how much it costs to import these giraffes from Africa down into a ranch here in South Texas I'm kind of curious 
anybody knows how much it costs to import a giraffe, drop it down in the comments. I'm very curious. Hey guys, we got some here. Try to zoom in for you guys. It's a nice buck right there. That's, that's a new one. There's some uh, ostriches here, guys. Or big old Texas chickens. <laughs> Look at that thing. Look at that big old freaking ostrich. Thing looks like it weighs like 150 pounds, 200 pounds. Big old Texas chicken right there. This is totally off topic, but I really like these little uh, this high fence ranch. It has a really really tiny squares on the bottom. Be good for the South Texas high fencing. You can keep out a lot of coyotes and bobcats that way. Well, maybe not so much the bobcats. Bobcats can kind of jump quite high and climb, but coyotes for sure. I don't know if you guys can see all those oryx out there. Way out there. Let me see if I can zoom in. I'll try to get a little closer on the other side for you guys. Some of that beautiful central Texas scenery. I I know I know the name to this guy, but I can't remember off the top of my head. But he's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful buck. Or male. We got this big old guy just chilling out here. Look at all these oryx guys. They're all back in there laying down. There's another one. I don't even know what this guy is, but pretty cool. These are some nice looking oaks too. She's nursing from the mother. Drawing a blank with uh with that one right there. I know the name of them, I just can't remember off the top of my head. That's a baby chasing the little mother, following the little mother. They were nursing earlier. Look at all these orcs. Chilling, laying there. You can see that one over there nursing on the mother. They're really, really cute when they're little. Look at that little guy. There you go, guys. Look at those beautiful, beautiful animals. And look at that little one right there. crazy how they drink water. Uh -huh. There's this guy just chilling by himself, guys. Really nice looking animal. I'm pretty sure that guy back in there is probably the bull. He's just a, uh, he's the biggest of them all. Mm -hmm. Wonder how hard these things are to hunt in the wild. Yeah, he's definitely the bull. says it right there, steep incline.
probably burning a half a tank of gas right now. Here are the Oryx, guys. I don't think that other those other ones were Oryx. These are the Oryx ones right here. Big old son of a guns. I know people pay big money to hunt these things. Oh shit. You got some rhinoceroses. Rhinoceros? Got a big old freaking horn in the front. Imagine getting charged with one of these guys out there, guys. I've seen people on YouTube try to hunt these things. Man, if that thing came running at me, I think I'd, uh, shit I think I would shit myself. More than once, too. There you go, guys. You aren't going to get much closer than this right here. Somebody threw some corn out here, or the uh, keepers threw some corn. And we are here in the spring here in South Texas, so a lot of animals are having babies. Um, if you keep up with my channel, um, I have a lot of does out there that are, are pregnant, uh, white tailed does, so they should start dropping babies here pretty soon, uh, either this month or next month. And look at this guy, check this out. Nice twisted horns, and look at those little cute guys. They're so cute. Look at this. Look at these guys. You aren't gonna get much close, closer than this. I mean, we're just driving. It's just animals. It's pretty neat, guys. Got these little guys here. And look at that one running over there. We got these running here. I don't know if you guys can see the black buck up there at top. There's a black buck right over there. Assuming this, these are still babies, these two on the bottom. <laughs> it's not too big, but it's enough water for these little guys. Guys, mm -hmm. some more animals for you. Yeah. And that one has a tumor, it looks like. No. Oh, you're talking about, oh. There's a there's a black buck over there, guys. I'm trying to get it on video for you. There it is. Alrighty guys, so we just exited the ranch. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Um, in my honest opinion, I wouldn't say it's worth $25 a person, but if you're just gonna go out there and never experience it again, then I would recommend it. Um, but to go back again and pay for $25 a person again, probably wouldn't do it, but for a one-time experience, sure, why not? Um, well, I hope y'all enjoyed that. Until next time, guys, be, be careful, be good, take care, and God bless. We'll catch you later.